Vox makes some pretty sweet map animations. Johnny Harris, who used to work for Vox, explained how he makes map animations, and it involves Adobe Illustrator, Adobe After Effects, and a $300 plugin called GeoLayers. Ain't nobody got time for that! Let's just do it in CapCut instead. That way it'll be free and take five minutes to learn instead of six months. All you need is a map and a line, and I created this line for you in Photoshop, but you can do the same thing in Photopia or Canva. I've also created other lines for you like this solid arch or a dashed arch, solid line, dashed line, solid big arch. And all of these are available for you linked in the description below for a free download if you just want some lines that you can play with on whatever maps you happen to grab. I grabbed this map from Google Maps. There's a bunch of options online. So how do we animate this? Let's go ahead and bring the earth down to the timeline. Hit Shift Z so it fills our timeline down here. Then we'll take the dash line that I made specifically for this map. And to animate the line, all we need to do is add a mask. So I'm going to click on Video mask. We have a bunch of options, but in this case, horizontal is going to work great. Now, what I'm going to do is just spin it around so that we can animate it and it reveals the line over time. Now, we could move the line left to right to reveal it. Just set a keyframe and move it and that would work almost as perfectly as what we're going to do. But because there is an arch here, it'll work a little better if we just animate the rotation. To do that, I'm just going to position this where I want this to start by clicking on this little rotate icon and have a start just right before here. Then I'm just going to jump over here and set a keyframe for rotation. And then I'm going to go to the end here, to the very last frame and go back one frame so we can actually see the frame. And then I'm just going to rotate it all the way over. So I just click on this guy and I rotate him over until we go just past the end there. And one thing I might want is a little bit of feather. Now you see that it added a keyframe here. If I go back in the middle, it'll be right here in the middle. And that's fine, we don't need a feather, but if I just drag this a little bit, it might be a little cooler to have just a little bit of a feather. We don't need much at all. I can drag that or just click here. And so about six works really well. And now if I just go to the beginning, I'm already creating an animated line that travels all the way from Seattle, Washington to Iceland. So that's a great start, but what if we wanted maybe an airplane to go with that? Is that possible to do in CapCut? Well, yeah, we're just gonna jump up here into stickers. We're gonna type in plane, which you see I've already done. And I'm just gonna click on, I don't know, this plane right here. And this guy's got a little motion built in, so that's kind of cool. It's gonna drag him on top. I'm going to drag it to the end of the timeline so we last the entire duration. And then we just need to animate that plane. I mean, he's animated a little bit already. First, I'm just gonna scale him down and then position him where I want him to be when he starts. And maybe I'll keep the size about there for the entire duration. And this works right there. And I'm going to just rotate him so he's kind of pointing up a little bit like that. And then I'm going to position my playhead at the beginning set a keyframe for all of these, scale, position, and rotate by clicking this icon here. It gives me all of them. Then I'm gonna to go to the end, which is where I want him to end up. Go back one frame so I can actually have a keyframe appear on this timeline. And then I'm gonna position him at the end. And because I've got a keyframe set for all of those, once I have this highlighted, if I drag him to the end right here uh, and rotate him down, it's going to get me pretty close, but not exactly. So watch what this does. It's going to have him rotating over there, but we don't really want that. We want him to go on that line. So I'm going to jump in the middle here, right at about 212, and pull him straight up here. I'm going to hold down the shift key so he doesn't deviate too much. And now we can see that he's getting pretty close. It's almost there but it's kind of leaving the boundaries and not staying on the line. So how can we make it stay on the line? What if we just add a curve for one of these properties? Scale, position, rotate, X or Y, which one? Let's right click here and choose show keyframe animation. And what if we just added a curve for the Y property? What would that do? Let's double click this. You know, you might think that you want to add curves for everything, but you don't always, because if you add too many curves, it can kind of mess things up, make things look wonky. But let's just click on this guy and click this here to add a curve for just the Y property right here in the middle. And let's see how that does. And notice now he's staying up near the top and 
That's pretty perfect. So I'm just going to close this animation here by right clicking and choose hide keyframe animation. And we're really close, but we can make this much, much cooler. How do we do that? I'm going to animate all of this stuff together. So I'm going to select all of these layers, right click and choose create compound clip. So first I'm gonna set a keyframe for all of the properties that I might modify. Scale position rotate, clicking on this keyframe right here. Then I'm going to scale this guy up and move him in position where I want him to be. I wanna see the plane in Seattle right about there, maybe not that big. And at the end, I wanna see a little more of the world so I get more perspective. So I'm gonna to go to the end of the timeline by hitting the down arrow. Then I'm gonna hit the left arrow once, so I'm actually on this last frame here. And then I'm going to scale it down and position it about where I want it to appear. So probably right over there. So I have maybe Iceland in the center, but I have a little more perspective of the entire world. So maybe about right there and actually a little wider still you know there's no right and wrong it's kind of what you like so somewhere around there might be great if you think this is pretty cool go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there and tap the bell because there's more amazing stuff coming your way i'll show you the finished masterpiece in a second but if you're serious about youtube man you got to learn to edit i can teach you in like two days to get really good at CapCut, so you'll be able to figure out stuff like this on your own. Plus, if you take my course, you get direct access to me, so you can ask me questions and I will personally answer all of them. So go to mastercapcut.com or just click right here. And now, the finished masterpiece.